Peace and Light family. It's uh, Chris in London here this morning, and uh, we're enjoying our fruit out on the balcony. Uh, definitely wanted to uh, share some information about how we consume food and um, as we eat our fruit, which is high in water content, which is something that you like to eat in the morning, not necessarily a heavy breakfast, uh, but you know, all the time at least, you know what I mean? Because the heavier it is, the longer it stays in your system. And the object is to move things through your system, right? Your body breaks it down, takes what it needs, and then gets rid of it. The longer, the more um, processed foods, um, the meat, and especially during this time of season, that you, it stays in your system, the harder it is to digest, or it stores uh, uh, energy or fats uh, uh, to break it down, right? Because it takes longer to break those things down sometimes okay so uh, we don't want our body over overly working right our system to overwork all right so especially during the summertime when we're getting uh, a lot of our energy from the sun we want to be we want to make sure that it's able to function properly all right and a part of it functioning properly is making sure that we're getting the right water you know from our fruits from our vegetables okay um, so this is kind of one of the things, you know, me and my daughter, I like to try to get her involved in, is eating uh, fruit for, for breakfast and vegetables, yes, smoothies, those types of things, a little bit light and easier on your digestive system in and the no morning. Snack. Right, and no snacking. <laughs> you, you are right, baby. No snacking throughout the day. Your body has to, you know, have a, a time, a rest period, okay? It doesn't need to be constantly operating because what you're doing anytime you snack in between meals yeah not allowing that blood to rush through the other limbs and parts of your body because every time you eat all that blood has to rush back into your visceral to actually break down that food you see what I'm saying that's why you get sleepy and all those different types of things after you eat because you're eating these heavy meals and then and you're snacking throughout the day so your body has to constantly keep coming back from the limbs and that's where that whole fight or flight syndrome you know your body is not going to it's what it's not going to do it, you know say if you're in danger and you need to fight or run it's going to either have to break down the food or it's going to have to extend to your extremities to either fight or flight okay blood has to come from somewhere and it's stored and it moves throughout the body right not necessarily stored but it, it, it moves throughout the body yeah, see, we're making a mess. But uh, that's basically what it is, right? So this is, we have to understand our digestive tract, our system, how it works, uh, how nutrients work, how we supposed to eat light, how we want to eat light, so that those things um, doesn't necessarily uh, bog us down in, uh, the rest of the day, okay? All right, so uh, peace and light, and uh, in London going to finish eating our breakfast, right? Yeah. All right, man. Family Springs, the alkaline man and his daughter. We out.